Papa, what are you doing? You ought to be asleep. Go back to bed, darling. They're... They're going to come and get us, aren't they? No, no. Don't worry. Come on, I'll take you back to bed. Look how soundly your sister's sleeping. Lie back down. We need to leave very early tomorrow. But I'm freezing. Then I'll go and fetch you a nice, warm blanket. It's cold. I should get my daughters another blanket. That thin towel isn't going to keep my daughters warm. There's no water. The pipes are frozen. The nights are growing cold. The bed cover is full of holes, but it's better than nothing. Years of research findings now thrown into the fire, but I can't let any of it fall into the wrong hands. I'll have to leave my books here. Our whole lives fit into these two cases. Everything's ready. Tomorrow we flee. This blanket's seen better days, haven't we all? I don't want to leave Mama. You'll see. Everything will turn out all right. Promise? Promise. Now dream of something beautiful. Papa loves you. Put that there. What's going on down there? This is. Damn it. I have to hide the children. The SS are already in the house. We are not going to get out of here. some paraffin in it. It's getting light. Now, how long is the paraffin going to last? in the wall behind the chest of drawers. The opening is just about big enough. A 
least I can hide the children in the end. Wake up! What's happening? Quickly, come with me. They're looking for us. And right, aren't I? Yes. You have to hide. No, don't go, Papa! But we forgot the Mama. Mama! You both wait here. I'll go and get the photo. in the mother's photo. My wife, Elsa. It's two years now since she left us. Here. Mama will look after you. Take my diary. And if the nasty men take me away tonight, go to Herman. He knows what to do. Papa! And now keep as quiet as a mouse. Both of you. I love you. He's here! Ah, good evening, Doctor. It's not been easy tracking you down. It's almost as though you've been avoiding us. I have no reason to seek out your company. Don't be so unfriendly. You couldn't see enough of us when we were funding your research. I left the project for family reasons. I thought you respected my decision. Of course I respect it, even if I disagree with it. The problem is, you still have something that belongs to me, and I would very much like it back. Come on, you have all my research. All the results, all the findings. I wish they'd been more successful, but you can't find what isn't there. Do you think I'm an idiot, Doctor? Is that it? You think I'm stupid? No, not at all. So, you won't mind if my men conduct a little research of our own in every corner of your house? I may not be a genius, but I believe in a methodical, scientific approach. Please, how many times do I have to say it? There's nothing for you to find here. And I intend to test that hypothesis. The Führer wants results, and I want to give them to him, wherever they're hiding. If you're right, you can relax. As you said, you can't find what isn't there. Tear the place apart, and take everything that isn't nailed down. Time, Fenton. You still ride a camel like a cow. Hey, it's been a while since I had to cross a desert like this. I'd much rather be back with Quinn. But the army seems to think this beach holiday is more important. How's she doing? Does she know where you are? She's got enough to deal with a boarding school. I don't want to worry. My mother in the picture. Still, it could be worse. That school's like a little German palace with a feast and much. We better get a move on. If your informant can show us the Egyptian HQ of Port Said, our bombers can take it out of the canal and stay open. Now about that, uh, we might have a small problem. The informant has disappeared. What? The bombardment starts at dawn. If they don't have a precise target, they'll just carpet bomb the whole city. Stop and find the HQ ourselves, don't worry. I hope you have a plan to me. Of course. What I'm gonna do is pretend to be a traitor, 
people with some small secrets and get myself dragged to HQ for interrogation. And you think they'll just let me follow you? I have a tiny transmitter with me, the latest technology. You get a fix on me and then we have the coordinates. Then I convince the Egyptians to let me go and act as their spy. Easy. Easy for me. Are you sure you've thought through the interrogation part? This is where our ways part, my friend. Here's the receiver. To get a fix on me, you'll need to climb somewhere high, like that tower on the city wall. Wait for me there. How do you say break a leg in Arabic? First of all, I'm Israeli. And secondly, in our army, we say head and gut shot. That's certainly vivid. Not a great place to break an axle. Looks like they've bodged the two parts of the axle together with this steel sleeve. I can't take the sleeve off without tools. The knife used to be my brother's. I always keep it with me. I can use the knife to pierce, cut, scratch, slit, chop, saw, and turn screws. riddled with woodworm and as dry as a sandstorm. I should be able to pick up Tamir's signal if I climb one of the towers on the city wall. That has to be the tower that Tamir met. I'll take both the planks with me. The sleeve is a bit rusty, but looks pretty solid all the same. Long screws, four of them. The knife used to be my brother's. I always keep it with me. So, how can I make something useful out of all this? Looks like a plan. Top work. The sleeve is keeping both the boards firmly connected. The plank's long enough now. Hopefully it's strong enough too. Just one more leap and I'll be able to relax for a sec. 